Have you ever wondered what makes a TV series stand the test of time? What enduring qualities can turn a show into a symbol of the entertainment industry? One such classic, Bonanza, is a prime example. This Western series, which aired in 1959, has left an indelible mark on television history. But what is it about Bonanza that continues to captivate audiences even today? As we delve into some random facts about the show, it's worth considering your own experiences with this iconic series. Has Bonanza ever inspired or impacted your life in a significant way? We would love to hear your cherished memories or personal stories related to this TV series in the comments below. Now, let's uncover the enduring qualities that make Bonanza an everlasting symbol of the industry and explore the world of the Cartwright family, the Ponderosa Ranch, and the adventures that have stood the test of time. In the 1959 TV series Bonanza, the cast members had their fair share of behind-the-scenes stories. One notable incident involved Pernell Roberts, who expressed his desire to leave the series in search of more challenging acting roles. When he shared this with co-star Lorne Green, Green advised him to stick around, predicting that he would become wealthy enough from the show's success to hire Tennessee Williams to write a play for him. In the end, the cast members divided their earnings three ways instead of four, and Roberts went on to play various roles on stage and star in the television series Trapper John M.D. Meanwhile, Green, Michael Landon, and Dan Blocker indeed became quite wealthy from their time on Bonanza. This classic Western series also offered an interesting detail about the character Ben Cartwright, played by Lorne Green. Before becoming a rancher, Ben Cartwright had a previous life as a ship's captain, with New Orleans, Louisiana as his port of call. This added depth to his character and hinted at a rich backstory. Lastly, there was some drama off-screen involving Michael Landon. He was responsible for Guy Williams being fired from the series, though the specific details of this incident are not widely known. These are just a few of the intriguing stories and facts that surround the iconic TV series Bonanza, which has left a lasting legacy in the world of television. Bonanza, a popular TV series from 1959 holds the distinction of being the second longest running Western television series, trailing only behind Gunsmoke. It continues to air in syndication. Created by David Dortort, this show made its mark in the world of Western-themed television. This Western series revolves around the Cartwright family, owners of the vast Ponderosa Ranch in Nevada. The central characters include Ben Cartwright and his three sons, Adam, Haas, and Little Joe. Their adventures, challenges, and interactions with other characters made Bonanza a beloved show during its run. One interesting fact about the series is the short-lived introduction of a new character, Cousin Will Cartwright, played by Guy Williams, who was known for his role as Zorro. However, Michael Landon, who played Little Joe, reportedly had insecurities and refused to work with any actor he deemed better looking and more charismatic than himself. As a result, Williams only lasted for five episodes in the series. Landon insisted on bringing in his much older looking friend, Victor French, to play the character of Mark, a decision the producers initially opposed. Despite the behind the scenes drama, Bonanza remained a fan favorite and a prominent fixture in the world of Western television, maintaining its legacy through syndication. Let's delve into the classic 1959 TV series, Bonanza. This iconic Western show was known for its unique aspects. One of them was the early portrayal of the Cartwright family, who owned the massive Ponderosa Ranch. In the show's initial episodes, they were quite hostile to visitors. However, Lorne Green, who played Ben Cartwright, pointed out that the Cartwrights would logically welcome visitors because Ponderosa was a significant business interest in the community. People came for economic, political, and social reasons. The producers agreed with this perspective and altered the characters accordingly. Another interesting fact about the show is that Lorne Green, who portrayed the patriarch of the Cartwright family, was only 13 years older than his on-screen sons, Pernell Roberts and Dan Blocker. During the first season of Bonanza, guest stars were paid far more than the regular cast. The producers didn't initially think that the show's stars were well known enough to attract viewers. This changed as the series gained popularity and the regular cast members eventually received higher pay. These unique aspects of Bonanza added depth and complexity to the characters and the show's evolution. It's a testament to the series' ability to adapt and grow over its long run. 
Dan Blocker, who played Eric Haas Cartwright, started the Bonanza Steakhouse chain in 1963, naming it after the show. Eventually, it was sold to a company called Metro Media in 1989. Metro Media also bought the Ponderosa Steakhouse chain one year earlier and marketed both restaurants under the same concept. Ponderosa was also the name of the show when it first went into syndication back when it was common to give the syndicated version a different name to differentiate it from the original if the original was still in production. In 1959, a television series called Bonanza made its debut and would go on to become one of the most iconic Western shows in television history. The show revolved around the Cartwright family and their life on the Ponderosa Ranch in Nevada. One interesting fact about the series is that Dan Blocker, who portrayed the lovable Haas Cartwright, ventured into the restaurant business by starting the Bonanza Steakhouse chain in 1963. He named it after the show. However, in 1989, the chain was sold to Metro Media. Interestingly, Metro Media had already acquired the Ponderosa Steakhouse chain a year earlier and decided to market both restaurants under the same concept. This connection is intriguing because Ponderosa was also the name used when the show went into syndication. Back then, it was common to give syndicated versions different names to distinguish them from the original, especially if the original show was still in production. Bonanza not only left a mark on television history, but also had an unexpected influence on the restaurant industry, thanks to Dan Blocker's foray into the business. It's a testament to how popular and enduring the show became, both on and off the screen. So, while Bonanza is remembered for its portrayal of life on the Ponderosa Ranch, it also left a unique legacy in the form of the Bonanza Steakhouse chain, a testament to the enduring popularity of the series. The TV series Bonanza, which premiered in 1959, has a few intriguing facts associated with it. One notable detail is the opening burning map of the Ponderosa Ranch, which originally lacked compass points, making it appear incorrectly oriented. To rectify this, the creator, David Dordort, added compass points. Interestingly, some have pointed out that these compass points align with magnetic north rather than true north. Another interesting fact is that the famous theme song of the show, which most viewers have heard as an instrumental, actually had lyrics. Lauren Green, Dan Blocker, and Michael Landon sang a lyrical version for the pilot episode, although it never aired. Additionally, Johnny Cash recorded his own version of the theme song. Finally, the character Ben Cartwright from Bonanza was highly regarded, ranking as number two on TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. These facts offer a glimpse into the unique aspects of the iconic series, which continues to hold a special place in television history. Bonanza, with its memorable characters and distinctive details, has left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. As we bid adieu to the iconic 1959 TV series, Bonanza, we invite you to embark on a journey of introspection, reliving the moments that made this show an enduring classic. For some, it's the unforgettable camaraderie of the Cartwrights, while for others, it's the sweeping vistas of the Ponderosa that etch themselves into memory. The timeless charm of the Old West, the lessons in family, and the ever-present struggles of good versus evil are all threads that have woven Bonanza into the tapestry of television history. So, take a moment to ponder what is your personal connection with Bonanza. Is it a cherished family tradition, gathering around the TV screen to watch the latest adventures of Ben, Adam, Haas, and Little Joe? Or perhaps it's the inspiration you drew from the characters, learning about the importance of values, honor, and togetherness. We invite you to share your treasured memories, your favorite episodes, or the life lessons you've carried from the Ponderosa. Join in the celebration of a series that has left an indelible mark on hearts across generations. Let's keep the spirit of Bonanza alive by reliving and sharing our fondest thoughts. Thank you for your time and for letting us explore the timeless appeal of Bonanza with you. We look forward to hearing your stories and insights, for it's the stories of the viewers that truly make this journey special. Warm regards.